Well, um, I guess it's time we need to talk about my Roomba again. Uh, I've been talking with the iRobot people for uh, a while now, uh, and this has gotten to a point where uh, I'm extremely disappointed in iRobot's response. Uh, this is specifically an iRobot Roomba S9 Plus uh, combo I bought with a Brava Jet M6 Black Edition, uh, December 7, 2020 from Amazon. Uh, initially, the vacuum worked as expected. Uh, however, now, um, most of the jobs it runs end up in the robot in a catatonic, zombie-like state uh, where it can't complete the job. Um, in speaking with iRobot customer support, their recommendations are to simply just let the machine run its battery down and then reset. They've also suggested that I hit a sequence of buttons on the robot uh, to reset it while it's in this state. However, uh, they completely ignore the fact that when it is in this state, the machine is completely unresponsive from the buttons on the top panel and from the app. Um, one time I did remove the bottom panel from this robot and remove its battery. However, this is clearly not a user serviceable component and was designed to lock the battery away from most users. Uh, I've repeated uh, this procedure to iRobot for which their reaction was non-thrilled. Um, it is clear that there is a design flaw here with either the software or the hardware where the robot arrives in a state for which it is unrecoverable. Um, I had suggested we add a power switch, a physical power switch, to this robot, uh, which I am fully capable of doing. However, uh, upon that suggestion, iRobot sent back a very nasty email uh, suggesting all kinds of awful things and, of course, the obvious avoidance warranty. Uh, we have now adjusted the schedule of this robot to occur uh, to do its work um, on Sunday so we can watch it to ensure that it actually can complete a job. Uh, obviously, this is not the intention of a robot to, that needs to nanny to keep hold of it. Um, and iRobot customer support has been essentially non-supportive at all. Uh, I'm kind of at the point where I'm wondering if I need to uh, just buy a replacement robot. Uh, this was a great robot for its time, um, but given the non-responsiveness of support and non-solutions and nastiness from the support, um, it, it leads me to believe that iRobot's resting, resting on its laurels in terms of its past successes and ignoring the massive failure of the S9 Plus uh, in its current software revisions. Uh, they have not given any explanation that has uh, made any sense to why the robot is having this problem, nor have they actually offered to address any of its problems. Uh, this is a new robot. Uh, it should be still under warranty. I am fairly confident at this point that they have no intentions of honoring their warranties, nor do they have any intentions of correcting the problems of the robot. I'm going to leave this video, uh, with, leave you with a video uh, of the machine doing nothing. So you yourself can see what a wonderful job it does cleaning exactly one spot on my floor. Not very useful. Maybe someone else has a use for a vacuum that goes nowhere and sucks a lot. Yeah. Enjoy.